Today we're on Lake Windermere, England's largest lake, and we're gonna have a little paddle around, explore some of the islands. It's an absolute spanking day again, and try not to get burnt as a main mission. Lake district scenery is actually insane. Much better than the likes of old Essex, in my opinion. Just wish it was a bit closer to home and you could do a few more weekend trips up here, but six hours up here is not really that doable for a two night stay. Don't know what all this is on it. I guess and it's just like, Stuff from the engines, from the boats. The manky. That's better. So yesterday we spent pretty much most of the day chilling on this private beach on the side of Windermere and we were scoping out a few islands. So this little island here is private apparently, but the one in between doesn't say anything about being private, so we're gonna have a little look on there and have a little explore around that. This little island's sick, it's like actually almost like a perfect little dome, isn't it? That'd be so much fun just to wild camp on that for the night. I'm gonna have a little look, closer look at the private island, don't tell anyone. Oh, that is a perfect little campground. Nice and hidden as well from the shore. Oh, they've got a little tree house at the top there, Emma. So yesterday we were hiring out these little electric boats and having a little whip up and down the lake and these bigger boats rocked us so hard so now Emma's getting nervous she's going to get rocked off the sub. <laughs> uh, we'll give us some good old waves to deal with. Side on, not the best way. Oh, hey, whoa. Oh, hey, whoa. Apparently all these boys mean shallow water. Let's have a little look. Did see some shallow spots yesterday. Oh, you can see little bits of rock poking out the top of the water over there. It's gone really shallow all of a sudden, big old rock. You do not want to hit this when you wake boarding or in a speedboat. Emma, you're about to enter a six knot speed limit. Can you slow down a bit, please? <laughs> so you can see a bit clearer now, this little island here. That's the destination for a little explore, a little relax, a bit of lunch. What do you want to do? Do a lap round, see how it's best to pull up? Yeah? Yeah, if there's no better, we can come back to this little spot. But I think I saw from the land the other day, there's quite an open bit on the other side. But that'll probably be quite busy. Yeah, I think there's a good little landing spot in there, Don. Just go underneath those little tree bits. It's probably quite shallow around here, as I can see the ground already. Decent driving, lady. Oh yeah, it's like Jumanji. Oh, a little rope swing. The rocks are a bit slippery, aren't they? Stay low. Hold on to me rather than the branch. That branch isn't very strong down there. You're gonna have to stand up now, Don. They're not actually too sharp, they're just a bit um, slippery. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Oh, I've lost a shoe. <laughs> Where, where are you headed? That way? Yeah. <laughs> That's like the old cheese slicer. Right, let's explore this little jungle paradise. Oh, this is so sick. This would be so good to do a little wild camp on here, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's so like hidden, isn't it, from yeah. the mainland. It's a perfect little spot. Oh, I just stepped in a nice fresh bit. <laughs> oh dear. It's not a bad little size, is it? Doesn't take too long to walk the length. This little spot here would be the campsite spot. 100%. Wake up to this little view. Yeah, it might be quite hard to get the tent pegs in though because I'm literally on top of a big old rock. What you'd have to do though, if you were camping up here, you'd have to clear quite a lot of this poo off and like flick it that way because otherwise it's going to go in all the tent. Where are you going? <laughs> a hammock would be sick. Oh, I just stepped in geese poo. <laughs> Ready for some lunch? I reckon we paddle around and land on those big rocks around there and have a little bit of a lunch and a bit of a dip. Don't hang about with a time for lunch, do you? <laughs> I don't think land on these end ones. Keep going round, round, and round. And there's a nice big flat one. Oh, we can go in that little cove actually. Yeah. Go on then, go in there. I wonder how deep it is, like this close to the island. Oh, not that deep. Yeah, you can see the rocks. 
Those are the best spot after all to land. I'm going to pop it in this little garage spot here. I think that'll be alright now. I don't think that'll even move to be honest because the wind's like blowing it this way anyway. As picnic stops go, I reckon this one even tops one at Coniston Water from the other day. Yeah. There you go. Hmm. <laughs> How deep there? I can't really see because I ain't got my glasses on. It's not that deep. deep enough for a dive? No, no, no. Yay! Head on back now, down to the Peak District. Yoo-hoo! Live Dream Ride, baby! That was an absolute sick day out in the water. Hope you liked the video. Give it a like if you did. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and have fun. Stay young, baby. Yoo hoo! Beauty. Oh, yeah, this is the life. Getting chauffeur driven around the lake by old lady. How's it going, Captain? <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.